opportunity tomorrow to learn a life-saving skill, how to stop life-threatening bleeding in the event of an accident. Stop the Bleed is a nationwide campaign. It was launched in 2005 in response to the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. UW Health joined Stop the Bleed last year. UW Health trauma surgeon Dr. Heesoon Jung is part of the team that will demonstrate techniques to stop bleeding. Welcome, Welcome to Live Doctor. at Four. Thank you very much. Nice Thank to you see you. Me. Why is this a skill that's important to know? In cases of life-threatening bleeding, it's really hard to get to the person who is bleeding out fast enough. So to teach um, the public how to stop bleeding is really important. It's pretty basic. Yep. Uh, we basically teach people in an hour, hour and a half, how to identify what life-threatening bleeding is and how to stop life-threatening bleeding with three simple techniques. One is just pressing direct pressure on the wound. Another is wound packing. You would take a gauze, piece of gauze like this, um, which is a, a hemostatic gauze, and you would just pack it into the wound okay. um, and then hold pressure on that. And then we show people also how to use a tourniquet. Yeah, so we'll turn that just so the camera oh, sorry, can see So this see is somebody's it. leg? So this would be somebody's leg. Okay. Uh, you would basically just pack the wound as much as you can. And for time's sake, I'll just say let's. I've packed it fully. I would just put pressure on it with both hands and put pressure on it. And then also we teach people how to use um, commercial tourniquets. Uh, the, this is one of the samples of uh, the commercial tourniquets that are available currently. This is a cat tourniquet. And basically uh, people would learn how to apply this to a leg that's bleeding and uh, twist it to a time to a point where the bleeding would stop. Then you would leave that and then the bleeding would be controlled. But I'm not carrying around this stuff on my person. Uh, not right now, but I do actually for myself, I actually carry one at home and I carry one in my car. Um, we are working with um, groups around the, the county and around the country to make sure that these uh, devices are available right where your AEDs would be. So this would be something akin to CPR. So I think we really do feel that as trauma surgeons that controlling bleeding is one of the most important things that people can learn. This is not expensive piece equipment here at all. No, something like this uh, with a package with everything included would probably run about $50. This is something, a skill you would never necessarily think you might need to know, but if you would come upon a car accident or something like that, you could potentially save someone's life. Absolutely. Even though this came from Sandy Hook, this really applies to all facets of life. Um, this can happen as an injury in school. A child uh, could get injured and a nurse can quickly put on a tourniquet to save their life or you might come upon a car crash like you were talking about, and uh, this would be an opportunity for someone to really intervene and really make a difference. So if I have a tourniquet, where on where do you put sure. it? Uh, you would above identify, or below the wound? Sure, you would uh, put it right above the wound, about two to three centimeters, uh, excuse me, inches above the wound, um, and basically you just put it on and twist until it's done. And you come across something, somebody in this situation, I mean, that's very traumatic for the person sure. that needs to, to apply this, you have to remain calm. I Absolutely. assume that's part of the training. Yeah, I, I think the most important thing is just to get over the first step, the barrier. The first barrier is just knowing what to do. And I think that providing the skill set um, really helps people get beyond that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's the most important thing. Really to teach, to show that it's really not that difficult, that it's really basic. Just uh, putting pressure on somebody's like wound with a t-shirt or gauze that you might find because they're bleeding. I mean, that I think is a simple thing for people to do. Um, so really, I think the course gives them that opportunity. And time is of the essence. How quickly, how much time do you have sure. before things get dire? If people are really bleeding um, to that extent, people can die within minutes. Mm. So even before sometimes EMS can even get there. So that's why it's really important for us to teach the people who are there at the moment how to stop bleeding. People know CPR, they should know this as well. Absolutely. Yes, exactly. All right, the, the uh, Stop the Bleed event is tomorrow from five to seven at the Health Sciences Learning Center. That's right next to UW Hospital. For more information, go to uwhealth.org. And this is free, right, doctor? And yes, anyone can show up? What a, what yep, a great opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Great to see great you, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Still to come at four.